What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. You click this video because you have a whole bunch of tools that you're looking to organize. Make it convenient for you to find them when you get to the job site so you could be faster, better, more effective, make more money. Well today we're going to show you how to organize your toolbox the fastest and best way. You're going to go from having a mess of tools like this to worksite organizational bliss. In a previous video, we showed you how to organize any toolbox using large sheets of Kaizen foam, like this one. It's cheap, it's effective. Problem is, when you have sheets this large, you need to cut them to fit the box that you're using. Milwaukee, with their packout system, and DeWalt, with their Tough System 2.0, solve that issue. They've equipped their boxes, some of them, with pre-cut foam inserts. So, one step out of the way, boom, we saved you more time there. We also have a couple of tips and tricks that the very cool gang suggested we try out as we fit out this box with our tools. We're gonna test them out, see how they work, potentially save you even more time when organizing your toolboxes. First thing we gotta do is get these tools out of here and get this foam in the box. We're gonna insert our pre-cut foam back into this box. The product number for this box that includes the foam is 48-22-8450. For this organizational how-to, the only tools you will really need is this snap style knife and a marker because we really don't need to measure anything. It's already done. Awesome. Now, you're gonna situate your tools in your box. You're gonna get kind of an idea of how you'd like them to be, but you also want to make sure you have plenty of space. I have my M12 tools in this box. They're literally some of my favorite tools. We have our hammer drill. We have our surge impact because this is what goes on the truck with me every day when I go to work. We also got the installation driver because I also like that as well. Once you have everything organized the way you'd like it, you could remove some of the tools to make space and all you're going to do is you're going to get your sharpie this is a silver one so it shows up on our black foam and we're going to trace around our tools doesn't have to be perfect but you want it to be tight enough to hug your tools Nice little configuration here. Everything should fit, possibly. Now all we gotta do is start cutting this thing out. We'll cut out one at a time, we'll test fit, we'll pull out our foam, make sure everything's nice and snug. We're gonna keep our foam in the box, okay, and we're gonna cut through a couple layers at a time. But we wanna stay relatively tight to the tool. Once we've gone around the entire tool in the foam, we're gonna start removing layers of foam. Little layer at a time, layer at a time. This way the tool will fit snugly in the box and not pop out. You want it almost to be contacted with the lid so it will hold the tool in the box. It will hold it in its slot. We need a little bit here. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna pull out a single layer. There. One down, perfect. We'll move on to our Gen 2 hammer drill. Test fit. 
We need to come down a little bit here in the back. We'll peel that foam away so it fits nice and snug, but it will sit incorrectly so our lid will close with no interference. We'll make a spot for our charger. Great thing about the installation driver is this forward portion of the handle with the magnet. You cut the foam out to fit and then the installation driver's nice and snug in there. We're going to tackle our installation driver accessories. We're going to be testing out for the first time here ever on the channel a suggestion to see if it truly is the fastest way to cut out the Kaizen foam. So a, a fast way to tackle these holes for the installation driver is a hold dozer. It looks like these accessories will fit in an inch and three quarter hole. Let's test it out. Remember, when you're using power tools, safety first. We're gonna set our Gen 2 hammer drill on speed two. I don't think I'll need the hammer function, but let's see how it does. Okay, we're gonna be right in the center of this hole. Boom. Put our accessory in here. I might have gone a little deep, but the good part is, is all I gotta do is grab it by its quarter inch collet. Boom, beautiful, great tip. And it's much faster than tracing this hole with a knife. Pretty cool. Now, I got a little, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a little trick here, let's see. If you make a little boo-boo, okay, see how this actually peeks out a little bit? Maybe we can put that there and this here. This way it sticks out a little further. The other thing we could do, we could just take some foam, pop it back in the hole, it'll stay. And now, your accessories up a little higher. Now, with it up that high, will it close? We might have a little touch of interference, so we might need it to drop just a little bit more. So let's try that. Much better. Or more better. You might need to cut around this if the lid won't close all the way. We have our offset bit. And we could go this way. Yeah, we could, we're gonna go that way. No problem latching. Everything's organized and tight. You know exactly where your tools are. You don't need to fish through a bag. Looks pretty sweet. Now, if you wanted to get rid of your, your marker, your gray marker, I got a little easy little trick for you. Just come in with a black Sharpie. Black it out. Quite frankly, as long as it's functional and you're getting in and out of the job faster, that's what matters. Now, we have one more tip for you. I know you've been waiting for this the entire video and a lot of people gave us a hint for extracting our tools a little bit easier. I'm gonna share it with you right now. I'm gonna give you two for the price of one on this. If you didn't wanna go through the next step that we're going to do, a great way to get your fuel tools out of the box if they're in the foam nice and tight is to grab them by the belt hook. So the last tip and trick was shared with us by the very cool gang. They told us to create relief in the foam to allow us to grab our tools a little bit easier. All you would need to do is determine 
where you would grab your tool at, what feels most comfortable, like where, where would you want to get a finger in at. I like getting a finger in back here at the spine. Even if I was on this side of the tool, I would probably come in in this area. So all you're going to do, you're going to get a hot soldering iron and melt the foam. Enough to create relief for your finger to fit through and make sure the fire department don't come. Let's see how this works. You now have relief. All you have to do is stick your finger up under the tool, pry it out, pretty slick. If you needed to elongate that hole, all you would do is just open up that foam. So that was a pretty cool tip and trick that worked out. And if you like tips and tricks on how to organize your toolbox, the fastest and best way, then smash the like button. Also, leave it down in the comment section below. Do you like what we did here with the toolbox? Do you know any tips or tricks? With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later. <laughs>